But welcome to Swinging Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. And what have we got today? So we've got um, Effie's Draft today. So I've, I've, I've reviewed Effie's. I've made reference to that quite a few times on my beer reviews. And this time I've gone for the Effie's Draft. What a pretentious looking can that is. Meant to look like a barrel. I think, what I can't remember which beer it is now. There's a beer and the can is a shape of a pint glass. I mean, that for me is the ultimate in vulgarity. It just, look, it just puts me, I was just saying, God, what kind of people buy that? Anyway, anyway, I'm not going to judge, I'm not going to judge. I'm going to get all judgy on a video and there's no point in doing that, is there? Uh, because actually, you know, you like what you like at the end of the day. And I'm not here to judge what you like. I'm just here to review it and then you can decide for yourselves. So anyway, we've got this FS and look, look at that. It's got, it's, it's got this... Um, like foil rimple on top so it's well presented actually it's a well presented beer uh <laughs> it's quite a comical can but yeah five percent came in at one pound nine p from b and m okay one pound nine p from b and m um right i'm, I'm not going to read anything on it because i don't want that to spoil us so i take the rimple off like so and it's just a normal uh, sorry i take the foil off like so and it's just a normal rimple can underneath there you go I'll show you that a little bit of wrapper there to show you what you could be picking up from B&M. £1.9p, it's 500ml, so that's quite a reasonable price. Is it me or is, is, is B&M not that reasonable for beers at the moment? I went in the other day and I was really struggling to find something that was reasonable. I picked up a four-pack of Skull. So uh, you'll, that's a little bit of an insight to what I'm going to be reviewing uh, either this week or next week. Uh, and what, what else? Everything else was like above 150 for a bottle. And it was more than the supermarkets, the, like the big supermarkets. So... So now, some of those real ales that they were selling were decent, and some of them were quite eye vol, like above 6%. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, weren't, I don't think there were anything there that I thought was particularly reasonable. Anyway, so here we go. Let's get back to the beer. Yeah, it smells like it did last time. It's got this weird, like, cardboard, syrupy sort of smell to it. Uh, it, it smell it's like malt, spent malts a bit. You smell it, it's, it's better than the Galahad. All right, it's better than the Galahad on the smell. It's got a bit more, a bit more slight fruitiness to it. More from the malt profile of the beer. Okay, let's just go in there. So there she looks. She's got a nice, got a nice um, straw colour, big bubbles in there. Sweet, smells a bit sweet. Um, yeah, there's like a lemoniness, a metallic -y lemonness on it. Heads dissipated pretty quick. One more smell. Yeah. Nothing else on there for me. That dark cardboardiness, it's like, mm, it's not particularly inviting for me. Let's give it a go though. Weird that. It's smooth, really smooth. I think I like it better than the other F's actually. Um, it's kind of got the finish has got this really sort of sharp. It, it, I suppose if if there's any hops, actual hops in this, the sauce hop leave, leaves quite a sharpish sort of aftertaste, and it's got that. Um, but then part of me thinks is is it like a bit of a nasty sharpness from cheap, cheap um, ingredients, you know. It's quite sweet. It's all right, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so it's got a nice mouthfeel. It's easy to drink. 
I would actually get that. I would get that again. It's, it has. It's got this peculiar finish to it on on my tongue, uh, which is sort of like I say, a little bit sharp, a little like a little bit chemically maybe. I kind of feel like if I drink too much of this, it will give me a really bad headache. Because there's something in it I don't trust. There's ingredients in here, or things that have been put into this beer, I think, that uh, aren't pure. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But when I drink a fresh lager, when I drink a pure lager, when I drink the Rheinbacker, <coughs> it just tastes miles better, you know. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite thin. But it actually, because it's quite smooth as well, it, it's all right. <laughs> a little bit of the hay fever again, a bit of the old hay fever. i just uh, see if there's any sediment in bottle. Mm, sorry, being sarcastic there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, mm, £1.9 I paid for it. Um, there's better, obviously. There's better for that price, but let's say Rhinebacker put the prices up. Or oh, Aldi put the prices up. Um, I would say that's not bad. I think that's actually quite good for the price, actually. It's all right. It's all right, that. Effie's draft. Better. It's better than the Effie's in the bottle. The Effie's in the bottle. This has kind of got that lagery, syrupy sort of taste to it, but not as much as the other one did. It does taste fresher, this. kind of got a fruitiness to it again the more i drink it the more i get down it the thinner it gets the more that metallicness on your tongue comes through but i think it's okay i think it's okay uh let's see fresh draft beer f is draft the military the military <laughs> the mediterranean beer uh five percent vol yeah we've got 50 centiliters loads of stuff that we don't need to know about Expertly brewed for a light toppy aroma, refreshingly smooth, rich taste, just like beer from the brew house tap. Rich. Should a lager taste rich? And that's the thing. And I get what they're saying about the richness. It's like a, a multi richness that, that actually appears in quite a few of these mass produced lagers. It's like a multi-richness. And I like my lagers light and refreshing. This is lighter than the other one. The flavour is lighter. And they are right when they said uh, it's got a light hop here. Yeah. It reminds me of... It reminds me of going to concerts, going to gigs, you know. Watching bands play and queuing and queuing and queuing for a beer that's a lager that tastes like this. That's what it reminds me of. And you're drinking, go, you're halfway down, you think, God, I've really killed all that way for that. <clears throat> Some people are thinking, have I, have I really sat and watched this beer review for that? <laughs> anyway. So, okay. Interesting artwork. Like this weird, weird little star thing in the middle. You see, it? I can't even see. I can't see. Anyway, it's not. It's not interesting. It's not interesting. Um, camera's gone all sepia, isn't it? Like, like I'm back in the seventies. It's better. The more I'm drinking it, the more I don't like this. You know. I, I'm going off it as I drink it. It is marginally better than the F's, but I give the F's, what, 5 out of 10? And I said this was okay, but the more I drink it, I think it's drinkable. It's got like, this, like, nagging. It's got this, like, nagging, weird bit, like, um... <sighs> nagging... Whoa, how can I describe it in my mouth? It's like this nagging sort of... Uh, almost like a slight sourness, like a slight, like a sour, um, 
like it's coated my mouth with sort of like a I don't know I don't know something that's like like something that's uh, artificial Auto, that's the way I, like like an artificial coating in my mouth like I've just had a fruit juice or something and it's, it's a bit sugary you know yeah what would I give this well I gave F is a 5 this is a bit better so this gets a 5.2 so this is a little bit better more drinkable it is drinkable it's more into the drinkable if someone said which one would I go for I'd go for that over the other one but I wouldn't be that bothered to be honest there's not much in it so thanks for watching I've been Swinging Steve and I'll see you on the next review bye